Hi everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I'm going to go over two tasks in SharePoint Online. I'm going to show you how to create a wiki page library on your SharePoint team site. And I'm also going to show you how to create an enterprise wiki site. And if you need more any information about these tasks, feel free to check out 365ninja.com and the post that goes along with this video because they do require a little bit of planning beforehand, especially creating an enterprise wiki. But once you're ready to go through the steps, let's start out here on our team site and I'll show you how to create a wiki page library. From here, you'll click your settings gear and select add an app. And you can either scroll through all of your apps, you might have to go through multiple pages, or you can just simply type in wiki and click enter or press the magnifying glass to search. And here's our wiki page library app. So select that, give your app a unique name, and click create. Now in your site content, you can see that your Ninja wiki has been added and you'll see it here in the menu on the left hand side. Now let me go back home and I'll show you how to create an enterprise wiki. Again, keep in mind this requires some planning, so be sure you know what you're doing before you go through these steps. Click on your settings gear and go to site contents. Now I have to scroll down a little bit and click on new subsite. Here you'll add a title, optionally a description, and a URL for your enterprise wiki. And then under select a template, you'll click on the publishing tab and choose enterprise wiki. If you don't see that option, what you'll have to do is go to your settings gear. I'm just going to open this in a new tab. Here in site settings, you'll click on site collection features. And you'll want to take a look at SharePoint server publishing infrastructure. That's the component here that I had to make sure was active in order to have that publishing option. So if you didn't see the publishing tab under template, that would be why. All right, so I clicked on Enterprise Wiki. I can use unique permissions if I'd like, but I'll keep mine as use same permissions as parent site. I can configure the navigation inheritance, and when I'm ready, I'll click Create. And now your wiki has been created. You have some sample content here that you can use for yourself or you can feel free to edit and start begin adding content to your new wiki page. Hope these tips helped. For more tips and tricks like this one, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.